July 4th, 1776, the signing of the Declaration of Independence, marking the birth of the United States of America. September 17th, 1787, the signing of the U.S. Constitution. December 15th, 1791, the ratification of the Bill of Rights, establishing every individual's God-given rights. Our forefathers ensured that we would never be under tyranny and have our natural rights repressed again. The very First Amendment in the Bill of Rights says in no uncertain terms, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech or the freedom of the press, or the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Today, some 220 years later, a rumble amongst the American people has begun. Americans have begun to show concern that their natural rights as given to them by the highest law of the land are in jeopardy. One of the major reasons people feel this way is due to the fact that the White House, under Donald Trump's administration, has banned certain accredited agencies from press briefings. BBC, CNN, Politico, the LA Times, and the New York Times are some of the agencies not allowed to attend press briefings. Which begs the question, should the White House be able to ban these agencies from press briefings, or does this ban go against the constitutional rights given to all Americans? The recent press ban administered by the White House has clearly stirred up a lot of controversy. Donald Trump was already fairly unpopular in many circles, to say the least, and has now invoked comparisons to historical tyrants from ages ago. The American people are faced with having to stiffen up and do their best to work with the current administration for the greater good, whether they agree or disagree with all the decisions made. How do you feel about Donald Trump banning certain media outlets from the White House press briefings? Um, I personally think it's a bad idea because a lot of the stuff Trump has been doing, not many people are fans of. So banishing media from the White House isn't the best move to make at this point. Well, I mean, I understand why he did it, obviously, because they are strongly against what he says, but it's not really an appropriate move to make for him. Well, the tradition of um, White House press conferences is not something that was invented yesterday. And, you know, Helen Thomas from United Press International, she was the person who for years would start the press conference and then end the press conference. She would say, thank you, Mr. President, the press conference was over. Um, what's gone on now is totally in, uh, it's a break from tradition. Um, clearly the, the concept of the White House press corps and the key elements of it, meaning your wire services and your major newspapers and your major networks having precedence over other me media sources has been totally done away with. I mean, the idea of a president saying that these news outlets are fake news and then giving credibility to basically insignificant websites who happen to agree with his point of view is absurd. It's just, it's totally out of control. America is in the midst of a difficult time and needs all hands on deck going forward to pull out of it. However, no matter the success of this country's current administration, people may always have rumbling feelings that when push comes to shove, their individual rights will be cast aside if the people in charge deem it's necessary.